By a show of hands, how many people here love being poked with needles? <laughs> I didn't think so. But for 30 million type 1 diabetes patients, it's not a choice. Insulin injections at least three times a day, every single day, is an ordeal for them. But what if I told you that in 10 years from now, we can get rid of insulin injections and just use this? Magic. Let me explain. In type 1 diabetes, the body does not synthesize insulin. So you'll need to rely on external insulin injections and very tight blood sugar monitoring. And that's not very convenient. And try explaining to a three-year-old type 1 diabetic why you stick her with needles every day. So while the U of A has made a huge stride with the Edmonton Protocol that enabled type 1 diabetics to receive healthy insulin-producing cells um, in their bodies, they have to be on drugs that suppress their immune system so that their bodies don't reject those newly uh, transplanted cells. So wouldn't it be great if they use their own cells somehow? So here comes our idea. We know what that is. Let's be honest for a second. We know what that is. We all have it from, like, in one form or another. Fat. Um, the thing about fat transfer is that now it's a well-established procedure, very uh, safe, and it's done routinely in cosmetic uh, uh, clinics. And the neat thing about fat cells is that they already have the machinery that helps them uh, secrete hormones, certain hormones. So our idea is we take some of those fat cells from type 1 diabetic patients, engineer them so that they can secrete insulin specifically, and that they're sensitive to blue light specifically, and transplant them back to the patient. And when we shine blue light on them, in theory, they secrete insulin. But we're very excited to let you know that our team has shown that practically they secrete insulin. We've already reported, um, we've filed a report for invention now, but we envision that in the future, type 1 diabetic patients will be wearing patches of small blue LED light, and with the currently existing wireless blood sugar sensing technology, they can receive on their smartphone updates with their blood sugar level, an app will calculate how much insulin they need, and that will be translated to how much blue light pulses they get. With that idea, we envision that we will revolutionize the lives of 30 million type 1 diabetic patients. No more needles and very tight monitoring. And that's how we plan to break the walls of type 1 diabetes. Thank you.